Now, Coach Stoney, looking at this one, this ain't got a sign here. They're different. So what do I need to do? Well, it's a good question. First off, let's look at it here. Let's set it up. And I can rewrite sine squared in terms of what? Oh, I see. You got to change them all to cosines because we can work with cosines. Exactly. So first off, I have a 2 here. I just replaced sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared. Notice how I snuck that trig identity in there. Pythagorean identity. Ooh, that was sneaky. And now I use distributive property now to multiply it, so I get this. And now let's, let's rewrite this kind of in order and put the 2s and 3s together, things that we can. All right, that 2 will go with uh, that 3. Adding 2 to x, they're on the same side. So now I have negative 2 cosine squared x plus 3 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate working with negative 2s. So if I multiply everything by negative 1, including the 0, won't it still work? Because if I multiply by negative 1, I'm just changing the way it looks, but I haven't changed any values, have I? Guess I haven't. Now then, I can work it like I did that other problem. It's like 2 times 1 is 2. It's AC. Remember, it's like having, this is like having 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. It would factor to an x minus 2x minus 1. And I get divided by the a term, which is 2. So I have x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. And notice the x is the same thing as the what? Cosine. If I foiled this, I would get 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. That's exactly what that means right there. So I'm just going to replace those like that. And so then let's solve it. Because remember, if this parenthesis is 0, that parenthesis is 0. So cosine x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to each side. Where's cosine x equal 1? I believe it is at 0. But don't forget, you guys still what? Add 2 in pi. Well, 0 plus minus 2 in pi is just what? 2 in pi. And on the other one, I'm going to add 1 to each side. Divide by 2. And where does cosine equal 1 half? At pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3. But don't forget to add your what? Plus or minus 2 in pi's to make it work. So the answer was basically 0, pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, plus or minus the 2 in pi's on all those particular answers. Ooh, but I had to use an identity to get it to the same thing or something I could factor to where I could work with it.